What's going on, you guys? This is Aaron from Departures Capital, and welcome to the video. In this video, we're introducing an exciting new company to the channel, and that company is called Quest Microsystems. Now, Quest Microsystems is bringing to the market the world's first cartridge-based non-lethal solution. The system will have universal application across four market segments that currently use a variety of dated, less lethal solutions. So as we know, this is a billion dollar market. I'm excited to talk about this brand new company to the channel. Excited to give you guys some updates and follow their story. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So drop me some comments down below. Let me know what you think about the company. Also, don't forget to leave us a like. It means the world to me. It helps my video so, so very much, along with hitting that subscribe button and the bell for notifications on future videos. Finally, guys, this is a sponsored video. So for full disclosure details, check the description down below, along with thoroughly reading our disclaimer and always remembering that these videos are not financial advice. So with that being said, guys, I bring you Quest Microsystems. The first thing I wanted to talk about was in fact the stock. So the stock is traded on the TSX Venture under ticker symbol KWE. It currently has a 52 week range of 65 cents all the way up to $2.68 with a market cap just shy of $100 million as of Friday's close. Pulling up the last couple of months of trade, we can see here that this stock has had a really nice rally recently. Did have a bit of a pullback, but it's hopefully looking to find some support around $2. So it might be a really interesting time to take a look at this company. We did see recent 52 week highs, like I said, with a pullback. So you might wanna keep your eyes on Quest. So we're briefly gonna run you guys through the website, go over all of the key points, and then dive into the investor presentation to get a better idea of what the company is up to and their awesome new technology. So bold innovations in tactical systems for defense and security. That is K-W-E-S-S-T.com. With their very easy to navigate website, you can see all about their systems, engagement opportunities, but more specifically, you know, the section that we're interested in is the investor portion. The investor presentation is easily found right there on their website below the investor relations contact. So you can click on that. It's easy to download. Now we're going to get into the main key points about the company. So first, let's talk a little bit about management. So their executive chairman, David Luxton, is recognized as a world expert on less than lethal technology. He invented the first paintball gun, the paint and the balls. He then founded the then sold Simunition Incorporated, still today the largest manufacturer of non-lethal bullets used in real guns for military and law enforcement combat training. More recently, he ran United Tactical Systems and commercialized its law enforcement and personal defense product names, Pepperball. He is the inventor of Quest Low Energy Cartridge System. Finally, Jeff McLeod, CEO, ran the Canadian division of Colt, which is the U.S. arms manufacturer. So now on to their system. We're going to go a little bit more in depth, but first, we're going to talk about the market segments when it comes to their cartridge-based non-lethal firing system. So the segments include public order and security, riot control and dangerous subjects, military and law enforcement training, realistic force-on-force -force training, personal defense, home, car, boat, RV, camping, hiking, and finally high-action gaming. LEC will be officially launched at the SHOT Show in Las Vegas in January of 2022. Now that's not the only system request. The company has many other existing products, but at this stage, they're mainly focused on the LEC as it has the shortest path to significant revenues. And the LEC stands for Low Energy Cartridge System. Now, finally, let's go over a quick comparable before we go over the news, take a look at some exciting videos, and then on to their investor presentation in this introductory video. So now let's talk about a comparable company in terms of valuation. So Bjorn Technologies is listed on the NASDAQ and it has an air-based personal defense device, which has inbuilt inefficiencies comparable to Quest's cartridge-based system. They recently raised $60 million. They have a market cap of almost $650 million with sales per quarter, which are not really growing, of between eight and $11 million. So the next thing I wanted to do is highlight a very exciting interview with their executive chairman, David Luxton, and Officer Tatum. Now, Officer Tatum has an awesome following, almost 1.7 million subscribers. So if you're looking for a little bit more information about the company, feel free to check out that interview. Hopefully we'll have a chance to interview David as well. Maybe take some of your questions that you might have, and then I'll get to you know have him on the channel, interview him, talk all about the system. That'd be very exciting. But I did wanna highlight that video. And finally, Quest does have a really interesting video when it comes to their technology in action. So we'll play you guys a quick five second clip and then we'll get into the rest of this video. And there's nothing in that technology set that can be used across the board for all applications. This is unique because it can be used across all of those market segments. So guys, now let's get into the investor presentation to get a better idea what the company does 
highlight their system and give you guys some more information. So next generation tactical systems, Quest Microsystems, once again, traded on the TSX Venture under ticker symbol KWE or on the OTC QB markets under ticker symbol KWEMF. So Quest develops and commercializes breakthrough next generation tactical systems that meet the requirements of security forces and personal defense for overmatched capability against adversaries. The company has a focused mission in growing sectors of global defense and security industry. Accomplished management and board portfolio of unique high value technologies with multiple applications. So it's always a good idea to take a look at the management team as I have mentioned, what seems to be a highly experienced management team. So their business lines, key market segments and solutions addressed by Quest Technologies are breakthrough technology and non-lethal systems with broad application, including law enforcement and personal defense, modernized digitalization of tactical forces for shared situational awareness and targeting, countermeasures against such threats as drones, lasers, and electronic detection. So for public security, and as I said, this is the company's main focus, their low energy cartridge system or their LEC system, a proprietary system consisting of inexpensive firing platforms in any design that fire only the LEC, a proprietary cartridge casing that generates spin to a projectile, soft frangible projectiles that mate to the interior cartridge casing. Different payloads in the projectile for various applications, velocities and muzzle energy far below the lethal threshold. So they have filed some US provisional patents. So the LEC is a universal system for all kinds of non-lethal applications, prioritized markets, public order riot control, subjugation of dangerous subjects, police, personal protection, the consumer market, and then other market opportunities, realistic force on force training, military and police, realistic high action gaming, commercial market, and animal control. So let's continue to talk about public security. So most non-lethal systems can actually be lethal and often are. They are therefore termed less than lethal in the industry, not non-lethal. There have been thousands of fatalities. Many are air-based, complex, and unreliable. Ambient temperature causes performance to vary, especially in colder weather. Synthetic seals and O-rings dry out and can cause catastrophic failures. They entail long, logistics, tails, heavy air tanks, compressors, and spare parts. So a breakthrough universal system for any non-lethal mission with the proven reliability of cartridge-based technology. And that, of course, has worked in the conventional market for a very, very long time. So safe, low cost, protected intellectual property, market pull, not technology push, portable manufacturing to any jurisdiction, quickly scalable, and a recurring revenue from cartridge sales. So here is, you know, their competition, public order, air-powered systems, cartridge-based systems. But now let's talk about the regulatory framework. So the U.S. few limitations. So the ATF classification of firearm for non-firearm takes a few weeks. Industry practices to provide laboratory certification of terminal effects, classification projectile payload, determined restriction by state legal in at least 37 states. International varies country by country. No limitations for military law enforcement. Personal protection rules vary by country. Now let's talk about their manufacturing model. So internal prototyping and demonstration samples, design and testing, local firearm and ammo contractors for demonstration samples, and LRIP, low rate internal production, negligible capex, outsourced for full production, firing platforms and cartridges, some firing platforms partnered with firearms manufacturers, production is portable to any jurisdiction, can ramp quickly for high volume of production. So now let's talk about the sales promotion and distribution, because this is important, of course, you know, a good idea is a good idea, but how are they going to make it? How are they going to take it to market? These are all equally as important as the idea. So U.S. hybrid sales and distribution with ready channels. So direct to consumer sales via digital channels, including third party channels, large digital marketplaces like gunbroker.com, sell to consumers and police across the U.S., supplementary wholesale pricing and distribution through local police distributors, military sales through established GSA equipment providers to DOD and National Guard, annual shot show las vegas biggest trade show of its kind and then international established distributor network in over 100 countries for military police and consumers only certain countries and distributors can import for consumers so as we can see here guys the timeline two different categories and uh you know by the latest january 2020 should be launched on all platforms now let's talk about the market size so 82.4 billion dollar total market 300 to 500 million dollar annual attainable market and that is from the low energy cartridge future soldier systems and counter threat systems feel free to pause the investor presentation for a second or download it for yourself 
if you want to take a look at these markets or find out more information about the company. So we're quickly going to go over the investment highlights before we wrap up this introductory video, guys. So significant valuation discount to peer companies, international market reach through an established agent network of dozens of countries, accomplished management and board of deep experience in the industry, diversified technology portfolio with multiple high value applications, strong revenue growth outlook, and finally, scalable operating model with minimal capex outsourced production for significant operating leverage. So guys, that's it for the introductory video. Quest, you know, they have a really interesting technology with a huge addressable market, four market segments that they're targeting. And the company also has a few other technologies in their portfolio. So overall, it's an interesting company. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. The stock has, you know, performed pretty awesome recently. Might be an interesting time to take a look at it. So once again, thanks so much for watching, guys. That's it for the video. We'll see you in our next video. If you like these videos, kindly hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications. Drop us a comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. And finally, always remember, Departures Capital is for information, education, and entertainment purposes only. Don't buy or sell a stock because you heard it on here. Buy or sell a stock because you've done your research, you've done your thorough due diligence, and you're making your own personal investment decisions for yourself. This video is not financial advice. Furthermore, this video may or may not have been sponsored by the companies that we've profiled within this video, and we may or may not own shares of any of the profiled companies in this video. If you want to know the full disclosure details, check the description down below along with thoroughly reading our disclaimer. Thanks so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.